Uh-oh. Huh? <gasps> Oopsie. <laughs> Franklin, why are you packing your baseball glove and goggles? It's the middle of winter. But it's three whole days at Bear's house. I want to be ready for anything. But I still don't know why I can't come with you to that spa thing. Mud baths sound like fun. I'm sure you'll have more fun at Bear's house. And Harriet will have fun at Aunt T's, won't you, sweetheart? We're gonna make cupcakes. Okay, I'm all packed. Aren't you forgetting something? What? Oh, um, no, I don't need Sam. Are you sure? Mom, I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's my hat. <laughs> hey. <laughs> 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 Hi, Franklin. Hi, Mrs. Turtle. Hi, Mr. Turtle. Hey, Harriet. Hi. Mom, Franklin's here. Come on, Franklin. Let's make snow angels. Coolio. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like those two are going to have a good time this weekend. Thanks again for taking care of Franklin for us. <laughs> Peek -a -boo. Peek -a -boo. <laughs> We've got room for Harriet too, you know. Looks like Bee would love to have her. Maybe when she's a little older, okay, Bee? She's gonna visit her auntie this time. Thanks for babysitting. Bye, Franklin. Bye, Franklin. Bye, Franklin. Have fun. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> bye, bye. Bye. I hope he'll be okay. Aw, oh, he's gonna have a great time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun. Oh, boys, boys, let's keep the snow outside, please. Who's up for honey crepes? Yeah, Oops. sure. <laughs> wow, that's Coolio. Dad's honey crepes are the best. Voila. They look yummy. Smell yummy, too. One dollar per two, Franklin. Oh, uh, one, please. I like three on mine. This is awesome. We eat a lot of lettuce at our house. Mmm, yum. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> hey, Dad, show him the alley-oop. Here goes. Alley-oop. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy's funny. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Aha! I know. Let's build a snowman. Yeah. We'll make it the tallest snowman ever. My dad has an old hat we always put on snowman. Oh, but he's not here. That's okay. My dad has lots of old hats we can use. Hey, maybe we should make a snow dog instead. Or a snow tiger. Whoa, look at this bear. Whoa. How about a snow dragon? Awesome. Are you boys still up? We're gonna build a snow dragon, Mom. Well, then you'd better get your rest. Good night, honey pot. Night, Mom. Good night, Franklin. Good night, Mrs. Bear. Wow, it's uh, really dark in here. Do you usually have a nightlight at home? Sometimes. Me too. Well, sometimes. What was that? Oh, that's just the house talking to us. Huh? <laughs> Dad says, <clears throat> don't worry, Bear. It's just settling down to bed like us. Good night, house. <sighs> Good night, house. Yippee! Yay! Oh, is it morning already? Her snow dragon is gonna be awesome. Should we start with the head or the tail? Uh, huh? Oh, right. Uh, the head, I guess. Then let's get rolling. You boys must be hungry from all your hard snow dragon work. Yeah. Thanks for making sandwiches, Mr. Bear. Yum, yum. 
Honey sandwiches? My favorite! My mom usually makes me oh, lettuce no, sandwiches for no, lunch. I'm sorry, Franklin, but we're fresh out of lettuce. Oh, uh, that's okay. This mm. is good. Mm. Yum. Hey, Bear, I can't wait to do the dragon's tail next. Me too. Oh. <sighs> right after my nap. Your nap? But it's only lunchtime. Yeah, this is my first nap. My after lunch nap. Oh, well... How many naps do you have? Well, there's my after lunch nap, my three o'clock nap, my before dinner nap, my... Uh... <sighs> three more balls and the tail will be done. Wait, I thought the tail went this way. I think it should go this way. Hey, we should make two tails. Great idea. The snow dragon is going to be awesome. Uh-oh. You better dry those off, Franklin. But what am I going to use instead? Uh, boy bear, your mittens sure are big. I used them all last winter, but they're too small now. Hey, let's do the wings. Let's make them cool and pointy. OK. Uh, oh! Oh no! That's okay, Franklin. I'll build it back up again. <sighs> Good night, Franklin. Good night, Honeypot. <sighs> wow, that was great. We got so much done today. You mean you got so much done? I hope my mittens dry out by tomorrow. Aw, you help too. Even with big mittens. Hey, Bear. Sometimes my dad reads me a story before bedtime, just to make me sleepy. Maybe we could... Huh? <gasps> Oops. Mom. Good job! These carrots were great for the dragon's teeth. I wish my mittens were dry already. <sighs> Ugh, I can't make them stay. It's okay. I can do it, Franklin. But I want to do it too. I just can't. I wish I had my mittens. Ugh. Hmm. Hey, Franklin, you okay? <sighs> I think I'm just not used to everything around here. But we're having fun, right? Sure. It's just, I kind of wish my mom and dad were here to join in on the fun. I miss them. Hmm. Well, maybe they can be. Franklin, here are your mittens. Thanks. Sweet. What's this for? Mr. Turtle, Mrs. Turtle, and Harriet. We're going to make snow turtles. Cool. <laughs> I can smell... Who wants lettuce casserole? Mm. Mm. Lettuce casserole? Huh? <laughs> that smells delicious. Your mom gave me the recipe, but I'm not sure I cooked it right. Can you taste it for me to make sure, Franklin? Sure. Hmm. Needs more lettuce. Mm. <laughs> Can I have mine with honey on top, please? Uh, me too. Thank you. <laughs> Aren't you getting ready for bed, Bear? Sure. <sighs> but I can't sleep without my shell. Your shell? Hey, now I know what to bring when I sleep over at your house. <laughs> Can I sleep with you tonight? <laughs> sure. <laughs> good night, Puddin. Good night, Honey Pot. And good night, Franklin. I hope he was okay all by himself. But Franklin wasn't all by himself. He was with his best friend in the world. 
dragon. Oh, my. <laughs> and look over here. There's Daddy and Mommy and me. But where's Franklin? Right here. Franklin! Franklin. Hi, guys. Uh, oh, I missed you, sweetheart. I missed you, too. Well, let's get your things and head home. I'll make you your favorite tonight. Lettuce casserole. We already had some last night. Yeah. You did? I just needed an expert taster to help me make it just right. <laughs> Thank you for making Franklin feel so at home. Come on, Bear. Okay. Let's give the snow dragon bigger wings. Sweet. I don't think he wants to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Can anyone tell me what this is? Um, I don't know. Wow. Oh, it's an ant farm. Wow. wow. So where are the ant tractors? <laughs> <laughs> no tractors. This is called a habitat. It has everything an ant needs. Food, water, and a safe and comfortable home. Oh, wow. I've never seen ants this close. Yeah. Mr. Owl, do you think we could build bug habitats? Great awesome. idea. Franklin, what a wonderful idea for a Nature Nuts project. Oh, Mr. Owl, can I build a beetle habitat? Ooh, I've always been a beetle fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like Rabbit and Goose would like to help Bear. Would we ever? Sure. But, Mr. Owl, who's going to take care of the ants? Can I help? Certainly, Snail. I need a helper, and you'd be perfect for the job. Yes! Fox and Beaver, would you like to build an insect habitat with Franklin? Sure. Yeah. I have lots of great ideas. Same here. Keep in mind, insects need a safe and comfortable home with food and water, but not too much. You can share your habitats with the group tomorrow. Sweet! Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. One other thing. Each group needs a leader to keep the team focused on what needs to be done. Uh, Goose, I believe it's your turn to lead. Um, ooh, 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 and Franklin also. Great, but I've never been a leader before. Don't worry, just try to keep everyone working together. Good advice, Franklin. Now remember, nature is for all to enjoy. Be kind and be careful. Before you get started, the Nature Nuts Pledge. Okay. <laughs> Winter, summer, spring, spring and fall. We love nature, nature one and all. all. We're the nuts. We're the nuts. We're the nature, nature, nature nuts. Yay, nature! <laughs> <laughs> We should build a big beehive. Bzz. No, too stingy. I know, a spider shack. Ew, too stringy. Hmm. hmm, nifty. I've got it, a ladybug house. Oh, no stings, no strings. Perfect. Perfect. Cool. Okay, Mr. Owl said we needed a home, food, water. Right. I'll start building a house. And I'll look for more ladybugs. And I'll put in fans to keep the ladybugs cool. <laughs> and then, a ladybug trampoline. Come on, ladybug, jump, come on. Ladybugs don't jump, they fly. Everybody knows that. How about a picnic area for ladybug tea parties? Cool! Shouldn't we do the important things first? Fox, please get me some sticks so I can start building. But I know how to build stuff, too. Why don't you get the sticks? But beavers are really good builders. Fox, beaver, please stop arguing. We can all help, as a team. <sighs> do we have to do everything beaver says? We are working together on this. Beaver is a good builder. Uh -huh. And I really like your tea party idea, Fox. But Mr. Owl said habitats need food and water. He didn't say anything about parties. See? She only wants to do it her way. Enough fighting. It's like you two are working on two different habitats. Fine with me. Good. Huh? Oh, oh wait. I didn't mean actually work on separate habitats. Hmm. Don't you think Mr. Owl would be impressed, though? We'll have a whole extra habitat. Two bug habitats. Uh-huh. That is kind of cool, yo. Mine's going to be awesome. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, ladybugs. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, Franklin. Could you please help me find some bugs? I guess. What kind of bugs? Whoa! I almost stepped on a worm. <gasps> worm? Hmm. Hey, if we dig a little, we could probably find lots of worms. Yeah, look! Ew! We could make a great worm habitat. Uh... I bet nobody else thought of worms. Right! And I can use leaves and dirt from the riverbank to make a worm house. No, 
A worm castle. Yes, I'm king, ruler of the worm castle. <laughs> it's an honor, your highness. I promise to bring you many worms to live in your castle. <laughs> yeah, not so close. <laughs> wow, looks like a strong house. It's safe and comfortable. Thank you. Well, hello, Miss Black Spots. Come meet your new friends. Yes, Miss Flickerwing. What would make your home even more perfect? Ah, some yummy aphids to eat. Could you please find some, Franklin? Aphids? Aphids are teeny tiny bugs that ladybugs think are yummy. But I have to find worms for Fox. I thought we were a team, Franklin. But I'm on Fox's team, too. My ladybugs are hungry. Pretty please. Oh, brother. I bet Beaver's house doesn't have a cool slide like this. No, but it's really well built. If we went there and all worked together, we could probably make one super coolio great big habitat. No thanks. I like my worms better. <sighs> Except for the touching them part. Ew. La, 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 ladybugs. Pretty, pretty ladybugs. Fly, fly, fly to your new home. Nice song, Beaver. Hey, you should see the cool slide Fox built for his worms. Your ladybugs would have fun sliding down it too. Slide? I could do that right here. <laughs> Ta-da! Or we could go and help Fox with his. The worms would love your songs. Worms don't have ears, Franklin. Everybody knows that. La, 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 ladybugs. Oh, Red wings and black spots. Get along, little beetles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Franklin. Wow, you're really working like a team, and you're having fun. Goose is a most excellent leader. <laughs> That's because I took Franklin's most excellent advice. Help your team work together. Yep, help your team work together. <sighs> <laughs> Yoo-hoo, and it's dinner time. There you go. Coolie a way to feed ants, Snail. Franklin, how is your habitat coming along? More like habitats. Fox and Beaver each wanted to make their own. Your team has two habitats? I thought it'd be better, but now it just seems like too much to do and too much not getting along. Mm, sounds like someone needs to bring your team together. Yes. Could you please talk to them? <clears throat> uh, oh, you mean me, the leader. Leader and bug finder! Sorry, Mr. Owl, gotta run! Bye! And this is where they park their worm wagons, and this is the hopscotch court. Neat, Fox, but isn't your worm palace kind of close to the river? That way it's easier to get to the boat dock, right here. But shouldn't you have a wall or something to protect your palace from the water? A wall takes a long time to build, Franklin. A uh, beaver's a pretty quick builder. I bet she'd be happy to help you. Well, if Beaver really wants to help me, then she can come here and ask. Oh, brother. Aw, mm -hmm. thanks. There. Perfect. We're done. Thanks, Franklin. Uh, one other thing. Fox sort of needs help with this worm palace. I don't mind helping. But if Fox really wants me to, then he should come here and ask. <sighs> Yippee! <laughs> Sit by me, Franklin. No, by me. Beaver? Fox? Why are you sitting so far apart? If, if Beaver wants, wants to, to sit, sit closer, closer, then, then she can, can come, come over, over here. here. Wait, what if we all sit together, right here? Oh. There. Isn't this better? Not really. Good morning, everyone. What a beautiful day to look at habitats. Hi, guys. Come on, <laughs> let's go. Bear built our beetle ranch in a tree stump so it would be safe. Goose made it pretty, pretty, <laughs> pretty with milkweed pods. And Rabbit made this neat beetle bus out of acorn tops and bark. Well done. Pretty nice. Wow. Dynamite. Wow, their habitat is great. Because they're a really good team. Indeed. Their ranch is practical and imaginative. And now, off to see the other team's project. Uh, project. Uh. <laughs> It certainly looks like a very safe and comfortable home, but... Hey, where are all the ladybugs? <gasps> Miss Flickerwing, Miss Black Spots, where are you? The aphids are gone too. My ladybugs must have gone looking for more food. Franklin, why didn't you get more aphids? Sorry, I had to get worms for Fox. I 
found as many as I could. And I didn't have time to get any because I was too busy doing all the building. I'm sorry, Franklin. Habitats are ambitious projects. That's why we work on them in teams. Now, isn't there one more to see? <laughs> I call it the Worm Castle. Mm -hmm. Very creative layout. Good use of riverbank materials. Too bad there aren't any worms. They must have crawled away. I wish I'd asked Beaver to help me build that wall. None of this would have happened if we had worked together like a team. Well, Franklin, what should your team do? You're still the leader. If you don't mind, Mr. Owl, I'd like another chance, if we can all work together. Let's, Let's do it. Let's do it. Ta-da! The new worm in every bug's palace. Ba 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 butterflies. Ka 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 caterpillars. La 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 ladybugs. Fly 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 to your new home. See, there are aphids all over these leaves. Wow, how did they get so many different bugs to come to their habitat? By covering it in berries and flowers and other things bugs love to eat. Good thinking, Franklin. Thanks, but Beaver built the walls and Fox built the bug playground. But you brought us back together. And you picked up the worms. <laughs> <laughs>